Welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. We're now going to return to the tune, I'll Fly Away. Um, I already have a very basic lesson uh, posted that you can watch if you don't know the tune. This uh, lesson, we're going to learn some little variation you can add to make it sound more like fiddling, okay? Like mainly adding some hoedown, some double stops, and then a few extra notes for a little melodic variation. I'm just going to play at a sort of medium tempo my version that I've cooked up with these vari variations, then we'll kind of show them to you, um, and then we'll take it from there. So here we go. So, a little wanking there, but uh, um, we'll get started. And um, so, if you really want to learn the basic melody, maybe do the beginner video first, because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going, in. I'm going to move more quickly through it so I can talk more about the variation ideas I added. So, the first quarter of the A part, let's do that right now. Here it is without double stops. All right, so um, I'll play it a little bit more quickly and so you can get in the context. A little bit of a swing to it. Which is long, short, long, short, long, short. All right. So that's the first quarter, which is also the third quarter and the third quarter of the B part. So we can, if you want to add double stops, you can play open D on that first note. Kind of droning D while, yeah, droning the open D while you play on A. But you could also drone the G when you're on D. Depends on how drony you want it to sound. I just want to make 100% sure that's clear. While I'm playing on A, I'm droning D, the D string. And while I'm on D string, I'm droning G. All right, so that's the first quarter. Um, let's move on to the second quarter. I'll play it without double stops first. All right, a little now a little bit more quickly so you can hear it in context. All right, and now I'm gonna add a double stops mainly um, I'm not going to try not to drone the whole time. Like, I'm going to drone that first one. And maybe, maybe I'm going to not drone for later. Maybe a little bit. So if I, if I don't, I don't want to drone while doing this. Because then you kind of lose the definition of that little part. Right, so going between the single stops and double stops is kind of like a like a nice subtle way to kind of bring out the melody. If you have if you have um, single stops, it brings out the melody more. More double stops, it buries the melody a little bit. You can play around with it on your own. I'll, I'll post um, a link to a video which explore, kind of explores the technique of going between single stops and double stops. Stuff like we're going single to double. That's the 
gist of it, but the, the video lesson I'll post goes deep into that so you can learn more about that. But I'm just going to keep rolling through the two now. Um, so third quarter is the same as the first. All right. And then the fourth quarter, um, I'll do the entire fourth quarter without double stops first. Okay, and here it is played a little more loosely. Alright, so I'm not going to break it down too much. You can use the um, tabs in the comments field because I assume you're just a pro at this tune already from doing the beginner lesson. Alright. But it is worthwhile noticing how it's different, like the, um, the uh, original version went for the fourth quarter of the A part. And listen to how noty I made it. I added a whole lot of notes. How did I do that? I used the scale. So I used the G major scale. And, and just kind of did what sound based on from playing a while and what sounds good to the ear. The end part of it sort of is designed to sort of lead to the B part. Which we're going to soar up to here when we get there. So um, that's sort of the logic of it. Um, and uh, I don't know, take it or leave it. Remember with this, this video in particular is about you know, you can, it's a good idea to try to learn what I've showed you, but at the same time, I want you to explore on your own. This is not the only way to do it. There's a lot of ways to play this tune, a lot of forms of variation. So I just encourage you to take this with a grain of salt. Learn it exactly as I teach it to you, just for the sake of your ear and for practice. But then be open to whatever comes up. Maybe you'll think of a slightly different or way to do it or maybe a drastically different way to do it and that's cool all right and i encourage that all right so we're gonna just move on um maybe no maybe i'll slowly do the a part with the variations all right i'm gonna do a little bit of the double stops too I should point out too that in the second quarter, there's another way to do the double stop that I think I did in the um, beginning of the video, which is while playing the D D3, you also play uh, G3. Alright, and so that kind of creates a nice... That kind of outlines the chord better, which is a C chord for those of you keeping score. And so on. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we're about to do the B part, but actually the B part is almost the same as the A part. The only part that's different is the first quarter. So this isn't part of the video lesson where I say, you should take a moment, pause, rewind, and pr practice what you know. Make sure you know it all. Maybe there's a part where you miss, so rewind and make sure you get it. So do that right now. So we're going to now just learn the first quarter of the B part. Then once we have this, the rest is the same as the A part. Okay, 
And then, um, so let's just kind of hear that again more loosely played. All right. And so for double stops, an easy double stop you could have would be open D. Alright, so that's droning open D while playing on A. But I like to do a harder one in which that you play third across both D, D and A strings. It's a lot harder to keep in tune. But if you can do it, it's a cool idea, I think. And you can also, if you feel comfortable and you've played a little bit and you feel comfortable with that, you can try sliding into it. It sounds very fiddly to do that. Right? So again, that's third across D and A strings. And the rest of the A, uh, the rest of the B part is like the A part. So now I'm gonna just, so you get the big picture. I'm gonna play the entire B part variations very slowly. do the fourth quarter again. And so on. Okay, so, well, I guess it's worth noting that the end of the, the fourth quarter of the A part is a little different, actually. The fourth quarter of the A goes. There's that sort of lead up to the, where the B part goes. But in the end of the fourth quarter, the, by the fourth quarter of the B part, we're gonna go. Kind of simpler. Yeah, so I hope, hopefully that's not too confusing. Even if you do, do it the same way for the uh, same exact same fourth quarter for both, it'll work out. But I think that uh, a nicer way to do it is to end the fourth quarter, to end the whole tune with. And then you could go back to the A part from there. Anyway, I'm going to tab it in the comments field so that it'll make, I think it'll make more sense then. And uh, I think that's good. Have fun with that. Let me know how it goes. See you next time. Excellent!